everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to crochet the crossed double crochet stitch. A beautifully lightly textured stitch which works really well in a fluffy loose yarn like this or also looks equally beautiful in a nice sharp crisp cotton. So let's jump straight on in. To begin pop a slip knot on your hook. Now the pattern multiple for the cross double crochet stitch is two plus one. Now what that means is you're going to chain in multiples of two, two, two until you have the width of your project, then add one extra chain at the very end. I'm just going to be making a small sample today, so I'm going to go ahead and chain 15. Once you have the correct amount of chains, for row one, we're going to be working into the second chain from the hook. Now this loop on your hook does not count as anything. You only want to count these fully formed chains hanging down below. So one, two, and into the second one here, we're going to pop a single crochet stitch. Then place a single crochet in every single one of the remaining chains in your row. For row two, we're going to chain one and turn. Now into this very first stitch where you just chained from, place a double crochet stitch. Now feel free to change the start of this row to whatever suits you best. If your tension wants you to have two chains before your double crochet, if you want to do a standing stitch or the traditional chain three to count as a stitch, all of that is fine. You do what works for you. So to begin your crossed double crochet stitches, we're going to skip this single crochet and work into the next one along. So skip this stitch and place a double crochet into the second stitch along. Now to work the cross, we're going to be working into this stitch that you just skipped. So we're going to be working back into the stitch behind where you just place your double crochet. Now, there's a couple of steps to this and a couple of tiny little tricks to keep it all looking nice and neat. So first step, yarn over, spot that stitch behind, pull it around if you have to, pop your hook in and pull up a loop as you normally would for a double crochet. Now at this point, pull that loop up a little bit higher. Give yourself a bit more room to work with. So this crossed double will always have a little bit extra stretch. Then when you've pulled this loop up a tiny bit more, go ahead and complete the double crochet as normal. That extra bit of stretch means that it all lies nicely and doesn't crunch up into an angry knot. So you can see the two stitches that you have worked into. So skip the next stitch and work into the second one after that. If in doubt, pull the cross doubles that you've just done and you can see those are the two stitches we've worked into. So skip, skip one, double crochet in the next. Then keep an eye on that stitch that you skipped. It's in here and place a double crochet into that stitch behind where you just worked. Now remember, pull that loop up a little bit longer than you normally would before completing your stitch as normal. Repeat this all the way along until the very last stitch of the row. So skip a single crochet, double crochet in the next, 
then work your crossed double into this stitch behind the one you just skipped, remembering to pull that loop up higher than you normally would. Once you reach the very last stitch of the row, we're going to end with a double crochet, just a straight double crochet into that very last stitch. You'll only have one left. You wouldn't have the space to work any more of these cross stitches. Row three, chain one and turn and place a single crochet into every single stitch all the way along the top of your crossed double crochets. Don't forget to end with a single crochet in that very last stitch of the row. Then chain one, and we're going to repeat the cross doubles. Start with a double crochet in this very first stitch. Then we start the crossed doubles. So skip a single crochet, double crochet into the next. Then cross it with a double crochet into that stitch behind, remembering to pull up a slightly longer length. Work your cross doubles all the way along until the very last stitch. Into the very last stitch of the row, place a double crochet. You'll have a row of single crochet followed by a row of cross doubles. Row of single crochet followed by a row of cross doubles. Keep doing that until your project is as long as you want it to be. Then when it comes to ending your project so that the top matches the bottom, end your project on a single crochet row. Then once it is the length you want it to be, and you have done your very final stitch of the row, chain one, cut your yarn, leaving a tail to weave in after, pull that loop up, pull it tight, and then it is ready to weave in. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please do give me a thumbs up down below and I will see you again on my channel for another tutorial very soon. Happy crocheting!